We know there's an epidemic of obesity and type 2 diabetes. An interesting article came out in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition talking about what happens when we consume artificial sweeteners in our diet drinks. It's not news that the American Diabetes Association, the American Dietetic Association, recommends for people who are overweight or who have type 2 diabetes uh, that they consume artificially sweetened drinks. But what actually happens when we consume an artificially sweetened drink? Does our weight go up? Do we actually lose weight? What happens? Well, it's interesting when we looked at this study that was published in February of 2013 that showed that when you consume 12 ounces a week of diet soda, that the chances of getting type 2 diabetes increased 33%. And if we consume 20 ounces a week, not a day, 20 ounces a week of this artificially sweetened uh, soda that contains aspartame, the risk goes up to 66%. So we're not talking about something that's just minor. A few weeks ago, we talked about the fact that there's an association between people who are depressed and people who are consuming artificial sweeteners uh, in their drinks. And it's really uh, interesting how many things that this actually does. We also know that the risk of heart attack goes up substantially in people who are in artificial sweeteners rather than people who are just uh, consuming uh, drinks that are full of uh, sugar uh, and high fructose corn syrup. So when we look at women who are consuming these drinks, and, they, and this study was done on 66,000 women from France over a 14-year period, they found that the women who were consuming the artificially sweetened drinks were drinking actually more. They were having about 2.8 glasses compared to those drinking regular soda, which was more like 1.6. So are these people different, you may have to ask yourself, and the, and the answer is probably they are. I mean, certainly their appetites are probably different. So what happens when we consume something like aspartame? Well, our brain realizes after we put this sweet substance in our mouth that something sweet is coming along. And the cephalic phase of digestion means that when we know that something sweet is coming along, it starts to prepare for that. And when it does, it starts to increase the production of insulin. And as insulin is secreted in the bloodstream, there's no extra sugar there. But what happens is it lowering the blood sugar. So quite ironically, what happens is that as insulin levels rise in anticipation of sugar, our appetites actually go up because it, this insulin drops the level of blood sugar that's in our, in our bloodstream. So we wind up actually gaining weight. When we, do, we did these studies on rats, we found that the, the rats that consumed the artificial sweeteners actually had a lot more obesity and sluggishness than the rats that were given uh, sugar drinks themselves. So even though these are recommendations by the American Diabetes Association uh, and by the American Dietetic Association, we need to think twice. This problem that we're facing with artificial sweeteners is one that's very serious. And unless we start controlling our are controlling what we eat, we're going to wind up in this, this conundrum that we're in where we're finding that there's an epidemic of diabetes and type two, a type 2 diabetes and of obesity. So if you're one of those people drinking a lot of that, keep that in mind. See what you can do to change those habits because they're the ones that are pioneering the way towards this epidemic that's so widespread, not just the United States, but the whole world.